state house races on the ballot in Indiana. Yeah, we're talking about uh, all of that as we head into next week's midterms. Fox 59 state house reporter Kristen Escow walks us through some of those statewide elections and state house races that you'll get to decide on this year. Well, Dan Bershell, we've covered the Indiana Secretary of State's race already this election cycle. That's the official who oversees elections. But there's also the state auditor and treasurer on the ballot as well, along with most members of the state legislature. Republicans hold a supermajority in the Indiana General Assembly. That means two-thirds of the seats in both the House and Senate. But Democrats are focused on some competitive districts in their push to pick up seats. I am running to bring some balance to the State House. I want Hoosiers' voices to be heard. Democrat Jocelyn Vare is running for State Senate in Fishers against Republican incumbent Kyle Walker. Urban and suburban areas uh, typically have been a little bit more moderate. I think people are looking for common sense approaches. To break the Republican supermajority, Democrats need to hold all of their current seats and pick up another five seats in the House and seven in the Senate. UND political science professor Laura Wilson says that's a challenge. We just redistricted last fall. So those maps are going to be drawn in a certain way that may make some of those districts even slightly less competitive and fewer opportunities for Democratic voters. Two statewide races on the ballot, Indiana Auditor and Treasurer. The Indiana Treasurer makes decisions on investments for the state. Republican Daniel Elliott is facing Democrat Jessica McClellan in that race. The state auditor acts as a chief financial officer for the state, tracking state dollars and paying bills. Democrat Zanae Brooks is challenging the Republican incumbent Tara Klutz. Elizabeth Benyon, who teaches political science at IU South Bend, says both positions play key roles in managing your tax dollars. Between the treasurer and the auditor, there is a lot of work with those local governments, whether it's tax disbursements through the auditor's office or 911 funds through the treasurer. Now, the auditor and treasurer serve four-year terms. As for the state legislature, members of the Indiana House of Representatives are elected to two-year terms, and an Indiana Senate term runs four years. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you. Meantime, the Indiana Secretary of State's race continues to be one of the most closely watched here in Indiana this election year. Kristen mentioned it moments ago there. Here's who's on the ballot in that race. Republican Diego Morales, Democrat Destiny Wells, and Libertarian Jeff Moore, all vying to replace the current Secretary of State, Holly Sullivan, who Morales defeated at the GOP convention this summer. Party leaders and Governor Holcomb had backed Sullivan at the convention instead of Morales. This week, the governor was asked about some of the controversies that Morales has faced throughout the campaign, which Democrats have called disqualifying in their words. He's trying to become Indiana's next Secretary of State when he is completely unfit for that job. I think everybody should vote their conscience. I certainly did mine, and I'll support the Republican team. He's a beneficiary of that. That's all I have to say. All right, we'll hear more of Kristen's interviews there, along with the latest stories to break in that Secretary of State's race and across the world of Indiana politics coming up on this week's edition of In Focus, 9.30 Sunday morning right here on Fox 59.